So, Jane, you are coming from Ireland? I'm coming from Ireland. Um, I belong to Atheist Ireland and uh, I came over to the conference, Days of Atheists, but I'm also delighted to be able to march here today because um, the Polish uh, women have the same issues um, that Irish women have and what we're fighting for um, in Ireland. And uh, we've won, the, uh, we're going to have a, a referendum soon because the ban on abortion is on, in our constitution and it has to be removed and we're going to have a referendum in May for it's that. It's in constitution, you think? It's written into the constitution okay. and it's, it's, much, it's even stricter than the law in Poland but they're fighting to keep here. Uh, um, so we're campaigning and we're fighting okay. and there's all groups, okay. unions, NGOs, all types of different groups have got together under Yes Together okay. and we're going to fight this campaign for this referendum to remove that article from our constitution I, I and hope. just yesterday they launched the campaign and one the master a former master of one of the biggest maternity hospitals in ireland the yeah. hollow street said that the, this article in the constitution um, has been very bad for women yeah. and that women have died because of, because of okay. it and i recall a few years ago uh, a woman savita halapanova no died um, <laughs> in a hospital in Galway it, and she had can, asked for listen, abortion it and it was refused it, I can't, I can't and she died <laughs> oh. and um, that went around the world it was uh, a huge uh, story um, she, uh, um, all around the world and it was devastating for her family and her husband and um, just there earlier on today I hear them talking about they're trying to uh, get rid of uh, the law here and make the law even stricter here in in relation to what we would refer to in Ireland as terminations for medical reasons, yeah. which means that the baby has a fatal uh, condition that it's going to die at birth. So even in Ireland, though, you cannot get an abortion on those grounds, but you can in Poland get an abortion. But the Catholic Church, <laughs> um, as far as I can see in Poland, is trying to influence the law to remove that that you can uh, um, get an abortion uh, for uh, medical reasons. <laughs> um, and the stories in Ireland, there's an organisation in Ireland called Termination for Medical Reasons. And they had to set up because they're so hurt and upset because uh, um, when they have this, they're pregnant and they have this condition, their baby has this condition, they have to go to England and to get an abortion because they can't, their baby is going to die at birth and they have to go to so the nine months that and they have other children <laughs> and the stories would break your heart your so really you need to fight yeah, in like Poland that. to yes. stop yeah. them it's changing the law for that because this is a huge thing for us in Ireland you know, it's absolutely awful but do you think there is a hope in Ireland that you can remove this uh, it's going to be difficult but we're really hopeful and we're going to really fight hard but yeah. I think we can win it yeah. you know even even if you if as a young teenager is raped and they're pregnant. You cannot get an abortion in Ireland. Yeah. You, you have to go. But we have. But they, but they have no right to decide what people. I know, do. but this is the influence of the Catholic yeah, Church on, yeah. on in on our in Ireland. Yeah. But what happens as it happens is that there is a, abortion in Ireland. In Ireland, women are having abortions, but they're just not having legal abortions. Yeah, yeah. You know, they a lot of when they get get into term a bit, they go to the UK. Only for the UK, we'd be, uh, you know, it'd be in, there would be difficulties. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they take, they get the abortion pills online, and they take them without um, any, any uh, medical help, and they take them themselves. And then they're afraid to go to the hospital if they have any complications. So we have abortion in Ireland. It's just illegal abortion. And even when we put that uh, um, clause in our constitution, everybody realised that women were still going to travel. They were going to go to England to have abortions. You know, so it is absolutely it's terrible. time to remove that. And it's time to remove it. Campaigns, the campaign started yesterday and uh, we're going to fight this yeah it's very good keep doing good work yes, and keep doing fighting okay thank you thank you